Hey there, guys. Welcome back to Get Going Fast, the place where we get into this excellent hobby of AI and hopefully sort of a quick and efficient manner in which you might actually learn something. And today we are going to be looking at uh, going back to Cobalt CPP, my favorite um, chat uh, terminal sort of thing, running all sorts of good chat bots, uh, obviously made by Lost Ruins, Conceito, Heinke. These are all people that are working on this and just make it absolutely fantastic. And what we're gonna look at today is how to run a multiplayer session uh, with your chatbot. So effectively running a certain thing where um, you can create a, what's gonna be called a remote tunnel, okay? That you can send the link to, uh, you can send a secure link to somebody and they'll be able to come in and actually you talk and the chatbot responds and they can talk and the chatbot responds this kind of thing so you guys can have all sorts of fun stuff okay uh great fun nerdy date night yo mm. and it's not that difficult so we're gonna walk through that but before we do that thank you for liking the channel subscribing all that good stuff um going out and telling your neighbor about it you know just knocking on uh, his door and just be like hey yo um, we don't talk much. You've been living here for years. We haven't really said a whole lot, but I just felt it was my neighborly duty to come and um, talk to you about AI and tell you about to get going fast. And uh, and by the way, welcome to the neighborhood. So that's very neighborly of you. Thank you for doing that. I really appreciate that. And uh, let's move on. Let's get on with Cobalt CPP. Let's get on with some multiplayer chat button. Yo. Alrighty then. Well, so to get going, we have to download Cobalt CPP. One of the beautiful things about the software is that it is so easy to run. It's just a single um, file that you can download on your desktop and run. It does not have extra. Everything is packaged into it. Very cool. Um, I over at the Get Going Fast page, I do have a um, an installer here that kind of comes with some prepackaged models for you to download if you want to do that uh, it's not necessary but it is um free for all prairie dog members it's like so if you want to join get the news and all that good stuff um and you can get little things like this you can do that um the uh but then also you can just go over here and get it by typing cobalt the cpp download and it's going to bring you over to lost rooms the big difference between my little uh app and the actual cobalt app is that um it's all the same thing. Cobalt CPP runs in your browser. So if you do want to um, clear your chats afterwards, you have to clear your cache, okay? Uh, so it does stay in cache until you clear it, then it's gone. The one over here that I created, um, it clears every time you use it. So it's more, I call it the sound chat bot. Um, but it's basically exactly the same thing, just it runs in a prepackaged um, browser that I, Threw in there with it. That's so like I said, every time you close it, it flushes everything out. No trace. All right. Anyway, so what we do is we go down here and we're just going to go find our uh, Cobalt CPP thing. Now, if you're running CUDA 12, you can run the CUDA 12 here. I don't usually bother because it's pretty much a slight difference. Um, it doesn't hurt. So it certainly you could grab that. Just for the sake of not being confusing, I just go grab the coboldcpp.exe. If you are running um, something that does not have NVIDIA, grab the no CUDA version, okay? Or if you're running an old machine, grab the old CPU. I have ran the old CPU.exe file on old crappy um, machines, and it works great. It's amazing. This is really incredible software. So anyway, so you're just going to grab that, download that, and you're going to put it on your... Um, your desktop. Okay. There you go. So now all you gotta do is click it and it's gonna pop up to something like this. Okay. So this is it might take a little while the first time you load it, but it loads up to here. All right. And um we're gonna do a few different things. Notice up here it shows that it's grabbed your uh card. Again, one of the incredible things about the software is how well it um manages your computer and it will set itself up it will uh, do its own settings according to what you have really incredible so but what we're going to do first thing before we load any models anything we're going to click this button that says remote tunnel okay and you can't see it on your screen but it says it creates a uh, bright cloud fair tunnel allows you to access cobalt cpp from other devices over an internet so in other words by clicking this 
even if we just now loaded up a model and press launch, we would get a secure link that someone else could come and use this. So that's actually a great way to, um, is actually a great way to, what do you call it? Um, um, share a model. You could set up a model, say, Hey guys, check out this cool chat bot. A technology I've got, here's a link and it will actually run off your computer. So if they're using it, your computer will start spinning because your computer is becoming the server. Okay. That's what that remote tunnel does. That's very cool stuff. Okay. Girl, I should have warned you there before I popped up in your face like that. Okay. Yo. So, uh, we get this all moving on. We click the remote tunnel. Now we're going to come down here and click the browse button in a second so that we can grab our uh, model. You have to download a model to, to work with. Um, but first we're going to go over to this network button here on the side. We've got all sorts of good stuff. And what we're going to do is we're going to click this button that says shared multiplayer. And this is how we're going to actually share with someone else. Okay. So we, we've done two things. We've created a remote tunnel by clicking that button. And then we've also inactivated, uh, actually we've activated the shared multiplayer, uh, mode. okay. Now we can go back here and we are going to, um, just click browse. Okay. And we're going to grab the model that we want to play with. Now you can't see on your screen, but mine's popping up there. So I'm just going to grab, uh, I'll grab this Gemma three model, I suppose. And then we just go down here and we click the launch button. Okay. Now what will happen is you already have a, um, a command line terminal that popped up. Let's see if we can find it over here. Um, oh, that's the wrong command line terminal. Hold on. There we go. Okay. And so now you'll notice that over here we have an address. Okay. Uh, for our remote tunnel. So your um your own thing is going to pop up here in the browser right here so this is this is the main one and uh let's move this up just a little bit there we go hi oh okay so the, your main one's going to be here but then um over here you have do ba -ba -da, the remote tunnel so this is what you send to another person which means that you're going to set everything up over here okay uh, and they're going to be able to come in. Now, let me tell you a couple of things really quickly. When you're using the remote tunnel, at first you have to, uh, um, when you're just using the remote tunnel, it doesn't matter the settings you go. So you could go here, you could set up your browser, you could set up, you know, we set up our, uh, whatever, a classic or aesthetic, whatever. Okay. Uh, you could go in here, just do all your settings. You could do all your um, context, everything. Once they come in with the remote thing, it's not going to matter. They're going to do their own thing. The only thing that they're going to have is the model you have, the Lunaris model in this case, okay? However, when we're doing the shared multiplayer, we're going to set things up first for multiplayer. Notice we have a button up here that weren't there before that says um, join multiplayer. Gosh, I'm having problems with this camera at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our settings, okay? I'm going to go over here to usage mode. I want to put this into chat mode. So I'm going to click chat like that. Okay. Then it's going to say my name and the AI name. So I'm going to put my name is Fred. Okay. So I'm Fred. We'll call the AI name Isabella. Okay. She's the Valley girl pirate with a lisp. All right. And we'll go ahead and press. Okay. I'm going to go set my context. I'm going to click this little thing. Then it's going to bring up a window, click context. I'm going to say, you are a valley girl pirate with a lisp. Like, oh my god. Okay. And now we're all set up. Okay. So now what I would do is go over here to my command terminal and let's grab the um, this here. Let's highlight it again. I'm going to press control C. Now we email it to somebody. Okay. Or send it over text message or whatever the kids are doing today. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually open up an incognito window. I might not even need to do that. Maybe I can just click here and I'm going to actually connect. Instead, Okay. Notice over here, see I'm connecting with, um, oh no, I am connect. Oh, interesting. So normally when you run this, you'll be running off your server. So this is actually running through the same cloud. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. 
I'm going to open an incognito window just so that we can um, play around with this. Okay. So let me go ahead and get the incognito window popped up for you. Do be ba ba. And we'll have to do something so that we can tell the difference between these two. Okay, let's try this. Let's see how this works. Now, over here on the left side, I have our normal one here. That's Fred. Now, I'm going to pretend that I'm another person over here on this side. So let's go ahead and paste this in here. And it's going to connect. It's going to give the same choice. Classic, aesthetic, whatever. Let's try the corporate one just to give it a shot. Okay. So it's going to come up here. And now I'm going to join multiplayer as well. So let's click join multiplayer. Oh, actually, let's go to our original person. And we join multiplayer. And I type my name in. It's Fred. Okay. So now I'm in multiplayer mode. Notice it said multiplayer is active. Okay. This session is shared with others. Now they come over here. Click join multiplayer and this one's going to be Barbara okay we'll click OK now she has joined what we're going to do is click our settings same thing over here put it into chat mode and then we're going to just go ahead and say her name is Barbara now we're both in here I'm going to click uh, new session I'm going to click this because I want to keep the member remember we've already set her up as Isabella the uh, the valley girl pirate so i'm going to say um ahoy and notice it says fred says ahoy and then the cobalt out oh, cobalt ai it should say isabella greeting humans your vegetables damage may assist you in repairs okay so now we need to change this up i'm going to go back to settings change this back to isabella so something got changed there while we were connecting to multiplayer I'm going to click my context over here, and then I'm going to have to rewrite it. You are a valley girl pirate named uh, who speaks with the lisp and is named Isabella. Okay, there we go. So we set it up, but then when we went into multiplayer mode, it changes. Now I'm going to go new session, keep memory, all that. Okay, now I'm going to go in there. Notice how it cleared the other side up as well. Now I can say, Ahoy! And um, Isabella says, Okay, Fred, what do you want to do like today? Now we've got over here, Barbara. So you've got Barbara here. And notice it changed the AI name for us over there. Isabella's going to be like, Like me and Fred want to have adventures with you and Isabella's going to respond giggle oh my god really like that sounds so funny like totally plunder some treasure ships Arr! and notice it shows up on my side too and I'd be like well Barbara likes treasure I'm into booty Isabella blushes uh, okay Fred but like treasure beauty not human booty Okay, all right, so you can go back and forth, all right? And you say, uh, throws a nasty glance at Fred. Of course that's what he meant, Isabella. And then she'll respond, nervously giggles. Uh-huh, Barb, anyways, like, let's get the ship ready for our pirate adventure, shall we? We can hit the high seas and me and Fred's trusty pirate ship. Duh, totally bugging, Buccaneer. So there you have it. You've got a multiplayer thing that you're going on. Again, I just put this over here in my um, incognito thing so that I could go back and forth. But um, but you can do this with your um, with anyone. Just send it over. Now I do want to point out that look at this seems to be a bug in the programming. Isabella is getting her own line. Fred is not getting a space here, so it's a little bit confusing. There's, so that obviously needs to be fixed in the next uh, thing, but still, you get the idea. One person can be Fred, one person can be Isabella. You go back and forth. Whatever changes you make over here, they're going to be made over there. We can go back into context and say, your valid Pirate speaks with the lisp and is named Isabella. You are totally jealous of Barbara.
Okay, and then we go new session. We'll click that to keep it, and I'll be like, Hi, I'll be like, Ahoy! Barbara and Fred here. Ready to uh, set sail. And then Isabella's going to respond. Oh, cute. You two looks like ready to pirate the center sheet. Barbara always gets the best stuff. Barbara's going to be like, no, I don't. Does too. So anyway, so there you go. You set it up. So you can have all sorts of fun with that. Good times um, at Ridgemont High. There, I'm trying to grab this so I can bring it back over. There we go. Hey, ho. All right. So there it is. Real simple stuff. Okay, all we did was we downloaded Cobalt CPP from uh, either the Lost Ruins repo or you can get the other one directly from Get Going Fast. Um, went ahead, loaded up. We hit the remote tunnel. We hit the shared multiplayer. We loaded the model. Then we went in. We messed up a little bit. You joined the multiplayer. Okay. We went to our settings, put it to chat, gave ourselves a name. And then set the context. The other person joined in, did the same thing. Went to settings, turned it to chat, gave it a name. And then you're pouncing back and forth. Then you guys can have all sorts of fun. I mean, that's pretty cool, isn't it? And I think you could probably get as many people as you want going with this. As long as they have the safe URL that you've generated. So, all right. We'll end it there. You guys have fun. Let me know about your adventures on the high seas. I only want to know about your safe for work adventures on the high seas. Save it for the other... Take the other over to Reddit. We'll read about it there. And uh, I'm teasing you guys. So you guys stay good. We'll catch up with you next time. And I think we got some more Cobalt CVP tips coming up. So be on the watch out. Yo.